Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Um, this is Subifly and doing a review on the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X220. This I've had this laptop for about three months now, or maybe a little bit more, right when it was released. I uh, can't remember, I think March. March, April, yeah, probably March. Um, anyways, I'm doing a basically a, more of a follow up on how it's working out for me. Uh, overall but let's take a look around it really quick just so that you have an idea how it looks here it is um, of course that the Lenovo ThinkPads um, uh, feel of a laptop um, it's your heatsink or vent USB 2.0 VGA connection a display port this is another USB 2.0 uh, most ThinkPads would have three USBs at least this is my wireless switch my uh, um, express card which you don't find very much anymore on the front there's not much it does have the speakers right below right here um, now I'll tell you about the speakers later and how, why I don't like it um, this is the USB 2.0 uh, powered meaning that if your laptop is off you have to change it in the BIOS you can actually charge your USB devices on here this is an SD card uh, uh, media reader this is uh, your Ethernet, your hard drive that sits in there, um, Kensington lock, and here's the back, um, your power, and your vent, and this is the just a 6 cell battery, so it's not the 9 cell, I didn't want it sticking out very much because I travel, um, but I do have a docking station with it. Uh, I want to look at the bottom, the bottom does have a um, easy access for memory upgrades, um, of course the uh, famous ThinkPad um, uh, water vents so this is where your water comes out right here so if you spill anything um, it's easy to access um, this is where you access your uh, I think it's just your keyboard so if you want to remo remove the whole thing you can remove your keyboard okay um, there you go let's go ahead and take a look at the, the front so here it is uh, keyboard um, it has a really nice feel to it, um, easy to type, I type a lot, uh, uh, from time to time I, I do some programming, um, that's, uh, but full full keyboard, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's a short, very very short palm rest, so at, t t at times you notice where my fingers are at, um, if you go by your typical layout of your finger when you're typing, my, my uh, palm kind of uh, hangs in the bottom so it's difficult but typically I type with raise, raised um, wrist so it's okay for me um, I always the, the eraser heads what I call them it's very responsive um, and uh, the, the mouse pad though it's very tiny so you can't really navigate very much you know you do your two finger gestures and things like that um, people don't like the idea of having a control and alt people are usually used by that but that's okay it doesn't bug me very much uh, for those who you do uh, that might be a problem but you I believe you can switch this in your BIOS as well so if you're comfortable your control being right over here the, the one the, I just love the feel of the keyboard it's very springy responsive I can type pretty fast with it um, you have your think bad think vantage button here the um, this do feel a little bit cheap <clears throat> as far as your volume keys your your mic um, power button um, and they remove the delete keys a lot more bigger and uh, here is the camera right here um, you also have the ThinkPad light as you can see um, I've used it a few times and it's quite helpful um, one thing too is that uh, the there's uh, noise cancelling speakers right here you can actually turn on the on, on and off the mic one thing too is that when you're typing there's a setting here that came with the ThinkPad, uh, Think Vantage software, or Essentials, or something like that. That when you're typing and you're having a web conference, it actually does um, eliminates the sound of your keyboard because your speakers are located over here. So it's nice that they don't hear you typing away while you're taking notes when you're doing your your web conference. And of course, the um, uh, fingerprint reader. And I've already set this up with my fingerprint. Uh, reason being is because. Um, I'm a IT director, so I want to make sure that um, it's easy to uh, secure. So if you're a 
if you're an IT director, IT manager, or a head of an IT, or you make this, you know, purchases, perfect to deploy um, because of the fact that uh, you can secure it um, easily. Okay, uh, one specific to the user, uh, it does come with Windows 7 Professional for X220. Um, I opted only for the Core i5, um, and originally it came with 320 gigs. I've actually put um, just a 64 gig um, SSD uh, hard drive on this, so it's, it boots quite pretty fast. But I'm not going to test it now. I'm just going to go talk about the laptop and how it's how it looks. More of a quick review. Um, here you go. Let's log in. Here, there's laptop. And uh, if you guys are getting into this, I highly recommend to pick up an SSD. It makes a huge difference. Huge difference. So you guys see a little bit closer here. Here's that. Um, again, I don't usually typically use the mouse here. Use the uh, eraser head. Um, but here it goes. Your software here. It's pretty nice because it's quick. You'd have an SSD. So here it is. Um, there's not much else in, to talk about. Um, if you have any questions, please um, uh, you know leave a comment right below. Um, yes, uh, anything, questions, advice, I'd be glad to give you that. Um, I will go ahead and do a review on the 64 gig on a separate video. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.